Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to read a quick section off from Matthew uh, 25, 31 through 46. The sheep and the goats. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on the throne in the heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you, are, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you, a stranger, and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he, then he will say, to those on his left, depart from me. You are you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the, de the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or needing clothes, or sick or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. So, uh, I think what... You know, Christ is getting, Jesus Christ is getting that right here is, you know, love your neighbor, take care of your neighbor. You know, homeless, you know, from the homeless to needy children, just people in need, you know, people that are lonely, you know, help them out. It don't matter what color you are, you know, white, black, purple, green. <laughs> I mean, take care of your neighbor, love your neighbor. Because, you know, at the end, we all stand in front of Christ and God. And, uh, Go over your life and receive your judgment. And we all have to do this. So, are you living a, a good life? Are you living a holy life? Are you living a helping life? Are you taking care of your neighbor? Are you taking care of, you know, others? Uh, you know, you never know who needs a hand. They may be lonely. They may be down. They may be depressed. They may be suicidal. You know, just by nice words that you say to someone, you know, could help change their whole day and their whole life around. So, uh, you know, love your neighbor. First is love God with all your heart and soul and mind. And then love your neighbor as you love yourself. But uh, y'all have a blessed day. Uh, seek God and seek Jesus Christ. You know, seek your Savior. And uh, love your neighbor. Y'all have a wonderful day.